Welcome to the things I do. Today I'm making a full-size floating bed. Starting with some 2x8, I'm cutting two of the pieces 78 and a half inches long and the other two 56 inches long. Once I was done cutting, it was time to take a finishing sander and knock down any of the rough edges. Now I'm using my corner clamp to clamp the edges so I get a nice tight fit prior to putting these screws in. For the interior support pieces, I'm using 2x3x8 common lumber cut at 53 inches long, and this will accommodate a full size bed. To secure the 2x3s to the 2x8s, I use pocket hole screws and pull them on top of blocks spaced about 18 inches apart. For the bottom base, I used an old twin size bed frame and cut about one foot off of the length of it to give me a one foot overhang. For the sides of the bed, I selected quarter inch batting and gray fabric. I measured the length and width of each side of the bed and sewed them together at the corners to give me one continuous piece of fabric around the bed. My son installed the LEDs off camera, but they basically just wrap around the upper part of the bottom base. Now I'm just using my pneumatic stapler to staple both the top and bottom sides of the bed. This is the bottom side here. You can cut off any excess fabric or staple it up underneath the bed. Make sure the corners are tight. Here's a look at the outer edge of the finished product. For the very top piece, we just use half inch plywood cut into three equal pieces. Now well, that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching Things I Do.